Hello and welcome to another video on how to identify trees with Christopher Hall Tree Services. In this video we're going to be looking at the Tree of Heaven, otherwise known as a Lanthus Altissima, or should it be Tree of Hell? Here's a close-up shot of the foliage of a Lanthus Altissima. We can see the opposite leaves borne on, a, on, on the shoots. Uh, one thing to note about the foliage of these trees uh, is the glands at the uh, end where the petiole meets the shoot. Uh, it secretes a sweet nectar to attract ants which in turn help to fight off uh, sap sucking insects uh, as, a, as a natural form of defence against pests. Here we can see the striking grey or dark grey bark which is very commonplace and, uh, 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 you know, regardless of the species locations. Uh, th this very telltale grey bark with these uh, areas of expansion or, or fresh bark increments uh, delineating growth lines on the trunk of the tree. Now this species is from northern China where it's not particularly common in the wild. Um, due to its virulence, hardiness and ability to pretty much survive everything other than a nuclear blast, it's widely planted now across much of Europe. Um, and, and North America where it's actually become an invasive species. Um, in fact, the, the, the genus name, Alantho, actually means um, a tree to reach the heavens because the rate at which this thing will grow is, 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 is probably only rivaled by bamboo. Um, although it is, it, is, it is planted primarily as an urban tree due to its tolerance of uh, a lot of um, pollution and uh, adverse um, abiotic um, features or factors, um, it can become particularly invasive, it grows very fast, the male flowers uh, give off a pungent aroma which a lot of people find very unpleasant and the sawdust can uh, cause people to have a skin irritation and reaction to it. So despite that though it does produce pretty white flowers, uh, it will grow in most places including brownfield sites where a lot of other trees struggle to survive making it in the right location an interesting tree of note. If you like this video and you want to see more videos on how to identify trees, make sure to tune in for another edition.